I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Before we get on to today's podcast, I wanted to give you a gentle reminder that uh, Steve Bailey, the man, the myth, the legend, Quantrix master, and I will be having a Quantrix seminar series in beautiful Salt Lake City on March 25th and 26th uh, here in, you know, just a little bit over a month out. And we're going to help you become Quantrix masters there. And if you haven't signed up, we do encourage you to sign up. And you can go to uh, Quantrix.com and check out the blog there and see how you can sign up for the seminar. But I really do think it's going to be worth the price of admission. I've been spending a lot of uh, weekends and a lot of mornings working on the material for this conference. And I, again, I would encourage you to make the investment and come and uh, come join us. Uh, geek out about Quantrix and I think you'll... You'll come out of it with a toolkit that will uh, really allow you to take Quantrix to a next level in your uh, career as well as in your organization. So again, go check us out at uh, Quantrix, Quantrix.com on the blog. You'll see this page and uh, you can register from there. And I hope to see you there. Hey, welcome back to another netcast on Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 304 where I'm going to show you how to join function ink with summary to create a key with all items. Came across this one the other day and I wanted to share it with you because I think it's really powerful what the summary function can do. It concatenates all of these together. And I want that key to live in here. So I want to create, a again, an item that joins all of these together and mashes them all together, or joins them all together. So how would you do that in Quantrix Modeler? You may be tempted to come in here and simply go join, not do join, but you may be tempted to go in here and do some ampersand separator and ampersand and then another separator, right? If you're creating like a lookup key or whatever. And indeed, you could do that and you could do that very manually. But what happens if I go ahead and I add an item? Can I then... I would want that to be part of the key, right? Uh, so there's also another way you could go in here and you could say, okay, column seven equals concatenate. And again, if I were to do that, it's not much better than the other one because I have to put in kind of a comma separated list. I'd put in column eight, but then once I added another column with column nine, I would have to go in and update my formula, right? So again, that's another way you could do it using your concatenate. To try doing a join function, I would do column 7 is equal to join. And then if I were to do an array here of, say, here to here. Uh, and I have a separator. Okay, let me just make sure I get my correct syntax. And if I do that, uh, indeed it it looks like it in what I would like to do. But what if I were to, this is going from join source code all the way to bin number, but let's say I went ahead and I added another column uh, on this side of bin number, then is column nine included in this? So if I were to type in a value here, just some random value, am I seeing that in my lookup key? I am not because it is not going across this column nine because I added it. So how could I create this dynamic lookup key to have it uh, work for me of whether or not I'm adding items to it or not. Uh, the way that I would recommend you do this is simply by saying column 7 equals join summary. And what do I want to have be my summary? I want it to be my column. So all items within my column category is simply how I do it there. And I would hit my pipe character for my separator. And I believe once I do that, and then if I were to add a column here on the side of ID row and add something, you can see that it added it. And if I were to go ahead and add a column this side of bin number, and I called it, you know, column not added, 
you would see that again it adds it for me automatically so if i need to create a say a lookup key across all of the items within a matrix it may be best to do a join summary function as i've demonstrated as to doing using the connect concatenate function or using the ampersand function as demonstrated earlier if you have any questions about how to use this awesome tool I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me your questions. I really do want to make you a Quantrix master, and I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.